a desolate and eerie landscape in the northwestern Philippines. It looks like the aftermath of a nuclear holocaust. Instead, it's the wrath of Mount Pinatubo, a volcano that rained down over towns and farmlands, killing more than 300 people, leaving thousands more homeless, and casting a shadow over the future role of the US on the island nation. The angry giant awoke on June the 9th, after a 611-year slumber. A mushroom cloud of steam, ash and smoke rose 30 kilometers into the sky. Dozens of eruptions rocked the region. As it settled, the debris blotted out the sun and coated hundreds of kilometers of Philippine countryside with what looked like snow. Many locals stayed in their homes around the base and slopes of the volcano in spite of warnings to leave. Others fled for their lives as Pinatubo reawakened. Frightened and helpless, villagers fled to nearby towns and into the capital Manila, leaving their homes to the mercy of the mountain. They left however they could, taking what little they could carry. This is the city of Alongapo at nine o'clock in the morning. It's 25 miles from the volcano. The power's been cut, people queue for fuel, for lamps and generators. In the shadow of the mountain, it's raining mud. Wet ash covers everything. The rivers are brown, flowing under relics of a previous natural disaster, the earthquake a year ago. Under threat from the mud flow and ash cloud, hillside villages are evacuated. A number of tribesmen are reported buried under the mudslides. Others arrive at evacuation centers to be reunited with lost relatives. Nature is conspiring once more against the people of this country.